My 28M girlfriend 23F of two years kissed a co-worker she has a crush on on a company get-together and I'm thinking of breaking up with her. Important announcement. Before we begin with today's stories, I have some bad news. Sadly, I have to inform you that this channel has been demonetized because of sexual content. Because of production costs, I'm going to stop posting videos on this channel in a few days. If you enjoyed my content, I have a second channel where I'll continue posting daily videos. Highly recommend checking it out, link to my new channel is in the description. Thank you for your support so far and the support you're providing to the community in the comments. Without further ado, enjoy the video. My girlfriend had a small get together with her co-workers last Friday night which was like a delayed New Year's get together. She has a co-worker M26 she admitted to having a crush on. It's been around 6 months now since she had the crush. While a bit uncomfortable with the idea I understand that people don't really control who you're attracted to and who you have a crush on. She told me that they just exchange banter while at work but don't really talk to each other outside of work. She lets me check on her phone messages but I don't really check that often because I trust her. Yesterday, she was at my house and was acting weird and just blurted that she and her crush kissed. She told me that it was the co-worker who kissed her and she momentarily kissed back before she realized what she was doing. Now I don't know if this is trickle truth and frankly I don't give a duck now. At the minimum she kissed another guy. Points to her for coming clean the day after, but I don't know how to proceed. We both agreed prior that kissing is considered cheating. She told me she's willing to quit her job and find another one just to be away from him if that's what I ask of her. I can afford to support both of us financially if it comes to that. She owned up to it said she was willing to, to do whatever it takes to make things right. I told her she can't go back in time. I slept on it and I'm still pieced off this morning. I just need advice on whether I should take her back or not. Does she still seem trustworthy? Is she likely to do it again? Do you have stories on when you took back a cheating girlfriend or boyfriend and it backfired or paid off? The relationship had been great so far up until this point. I don't want to nuke a future with her if it can still be salvaged. I feel betrayed. I want to trust her but I feel like I shouldn't after this. I think even if I spend weeks analyzing this I won't come to a concrete answer. Redditor's reaction story 2 after. Redditor 1, this is your decision. You agreed that a kiss is cheating, and therefore she cheated. That's plain. She is also regretful own what she did, and is willing to change jobs to be away from the person she kissed. That is a mature attitude to righting a wrong. A lot of people in this thread are going to say get rid of her. I understand the gut reaction. I also understand the foolish errors of youth, and she's 23. It's a learning experience, that's for sure. Ask yourself if you think trust can be restored. Are the things she's offered to make amends good enough? If roles were reversed, how would you feel? I do have a story about a cheating ex, but it was much more than a kiss, and she wasn't willing to take the steps to make amends. She wanted to pretend it didn't happen. Your girlfriend seems willing to do the work, and that's something. I'm well past my 20s, so for what it's worth, I'll say this, any long-term relationship is going to be hard, and will have its challenges. Ask yourself if you see long-term potential here. Would you like to have her beside you in 10 years? In 20? If so, this is your chance to set a dynamic of forgiveness and long-term growth. If not, better not to invest more time. But again, this is your decision alone. I hope what I've said offers some help. Redditor 2, give yourself some time to process your feelings before you make a final decision. Only you can decide if this is something you can move past but it does seem like she is genuinely sorry and is willing to go to great lengths moving jobs to make things right. Although, I would make her find a new job before quitting the one she has. You having to support her financially because of her duck up will surely lead to resentment. Redditor 3, she cheated. Having a crush and entertaining it is already across the line. Kissing him? Come on, bro, have some self-respect. Story 2, meeting X for the first time in 20 years. I'm not sure if this is the right place for this post. I was at a community yard sale when a woman came up and started talking to me. It was my ex-wife. We had divorced more than 35 years ago and I hadn't seen her in over 20. 
This was the woman I met, fell in love with, exchanged vows to and promised to remain with for the rest of my life, slept beside for eight years the mother of my children. I recognized the voice but if she wouldn't have spoken I wouldn't have even known who she was. The anger for her betrayal was long gone replaced by a deep sadness. She missed much of watching her children grow up. She's not part of family get-togethers. She'll never have a secure retirement and no one to take care of her in the old age that is rapidly approaching for her. I wanted to ask her for what, why? Did she think it was worth it? Her and the AP lasted less than a year. We never really talked after I found out about her affair. I wonder if people ever think about what their affair can lead to. The pain it causes. The broken families. I survived, remarried, raised my children. Yet just those couple of minutes brought back the pain and hurt all over again. Redditor's Reaction Story 3 After Redditor 1 So very sorry you had to face this trigger of a decades-old betrayal wound. It is staggering to behold the destruction and ripple effects of adulterous affairs over years and through the generations. And for what? The false thrill of illicit s time at the cost of your spouse and children? Pathetic and infantile. Hope your healing journey continues and I wish you strength. Redditor follow up, I sometimes think about this. My daughter was friends with ex's daughter, nearly the same age and they grew up together from 10-15. They used to call each other basically stepsisters. My daughter knows he cheated on me, because he was at my place when I found out and kicked him out. His daughter, on the other hand, has no idea that he cheated not only on me with women he met on King subreddits, but also on her mom his baby mama, went on Craigslist to find women to sleep with while sharing a bed with baby mama, and then on his ex fiance lady before me with women from Fet Life. His daughter has no idea what a nest of lies his life rests on, and how much he has hurt people. I sometimes imagine my daughter and her reconnecting in a few years, and her finding out what he has done. She thinks her daddy is a great guy, she thinks the breakup was my fault because I'm angry. I wonder what it would do to her if when she finds out the truth about her daddy. Redditor 2, wow. This makes me wonder if I will ever completely get over the betrayal of my ex cheating and abandoning me. You do have to wonder how they are able to live out the rest of their lives seemingly without remorse. Redditor follow up, it's weird how everyone has a different perspective. I saw this post and thought this woman lost her security in life. She doesn't have a partner who is looking out for her retirement like her ex-husband would have. She is not part of her own children's life or has a lesser part not being at get-togethers and stuff and it was all for a relationship that didn't even last. I know the op must have felt remnants of some old lingering feeling that came back. But at the end of the day, he recovered, he is remarried, still in the life of his children and seems to be secure in life if he is judging her retirement I'm assuming he doesn't need to worry about his own. I don't think there are ever winners and losers in life. It doesn't work like that. But he seems to have been a winner in his life. This story gave me peace. That if I work on myself and focus on my family, Maybe I will look at my ex and feel a remnant of hurt but also satisfaction with my own life. This is the best case scenario sadly for us but I realize it's not sad at all. Virtual hugs to all the betrayed souls. Redditor 3, I can't imagine running into my first wife. Part of the reason why I moved from Chicago to Texas was to remove the chance of seeing anyone who left me to rock back then. I still only have dark thoughts in my heart about her. Peace to you, brother. Just look at your family and let that remind you that it fared well for you. Redditor follow up, what's it like removing a whole section maybe even most of your life and just starting over? Were you alone for a length or time? I've been considering this. Story 3, my 36F husband 38M cheated on me with my best friend I've never been this broken in my life before. I don't know. I feel like an idiot. Like, I should have seen the signs. I keep just asking the questions why would they both do this to me? And, did they both ever care for me? They didn't use protection. My best friend told me that she and my husband had been sleeping together for two years. It was a mutual agreement. She sent in a text, you were never meant to find out. It was just supposed to be a friends with benefits situation. We both wanted it, but we knew what we were doing would catch up to us. I told him that it was time for you to know. 
We both love you and want you to do whatever you feel the need to do. If you wish to stop talking to me you don't have to reply to this message, but if you want to know more you can ask whatever you wish. If there's no response I will take that as I'd like to be left alone. Whatever you'd like to do between you and your husband is up to you too, but I am no longer sleeping with him. I just. Why? Edit. I've been tired all day and a lot has happened but I'll try to post an update tomorrow. Thank you so much for the support, it's just nice having the internet to hear me. Redditor's reactions. Redditor 1, because they're selfish as shoals. I'd cut them both out immediately. Redditor follow up, we both love you. Like. How can you even say that? What kind of twisted form of love is in your vocabulary? Love is not just a feeling, it's an action. And cheating on someone behind their back for two years is not an action of love. It makes me sick to my stomach. Redditor too, so she just decided it was time for you to know, after two years, now, that she's not sleeping with him anymore. Her story sounds fishy. Not the cheating part, but it sounds like she got dumped and is now on revenge path. Regardless, get yourself a good therapist. That's your first step of action. Redditor follow up, yeah I'm assuming the same. The best friend had a falling out with the husband and this is how she means to get back at him. If she cared she would have confessed to this much earlier than two friggin years. Redditor 3, that's gross. Infidelity is bad enough but when it's also your best friend? Dubbed betrayal. She's not much of a friend at all op. They deserve each other and both should be cut out. Redditor follow up, what about him and your own sister? That's ultimate betrayal. That's what happened to me with the my husband. Remember to check out my new channels. Link in the description. Have a nice day.